The average uh, IQ of most people is around uh, 90 to 110, but your IQ is uh, 225. So who discovered the special gift in you? And at what age did they discover that you were a special child with a lot of gifts? This happened around when I was three years old. I was a toddler. Um, my parents found a little bit different uh, aspect in my day-to-day -day activities. And they took me to my pediatrician with a little doubt. As I said, as I hail from a teacher's family, my grandparents, uh, we were in the family. But that time, as my grandma would have seen thousands of school kids because she was a primary school teacher. So she was used to smaller kids of around my age. So that time, my activities were a little different from what the regular kids do. So in that regard, they wanted to confirm what is unique in me. So that way, my parents had taken me to the doctor and the doctor wanted to check one fact. Like, I was able to repeat the things what my parents teach me, um, how many times after, uh, how many days after they ask or how many times they ask. So my doctor wanted to find out one fact, whether I am a tape recorder or do I observe, analyze and then react. So for that, my doctor, my pediatrician prescribed for the IQ test. IQ, intelligence quotient, it is not something that is uh, a calculation that is just computed by anyone. Um, not a pediatrician, parent, teacher, a general physician, no one can, nobody has the authority to uh, give the authorized reports. There are so many fake online websites that uh, give some puzzles to you and they claim this is your IQ. It is not the legitimate way. We have to go to the clinical psychologist, I am underlining, it is not psychiatrist, it is clinical psychologist, special uh, people who are for this aspect. They have to be registered in the Rehabilitation Council of India and they are the only authorized personnel to deliver your IQ test and uh, analyze your IQ level and then give the reports. And those reports are internationally valid. So I was taken and my IQ was tested and it was determined as 225. So this so, is how it was processed. So the IQ level actually, you know, uh, unlike other things that you can develop, right? You yeah, are that is a, an important You are born with a certain point. IQ and that yeah. IQ is constant, right? Yeah, it is sort of a constant. There are so many exercises in the internet like they will claim as if you perform this exercise you can improve your IQ level. If you take this medication, tablets, drugs and all, uh, you will be having higher IQ level. If that was true, my IQ level would be some thousands now. I would have done that. It is a constant God's gift that is bygone, natural and it stays with you for life. There is no improvement or redu reduction in the process throughout your life. And it is somewhat like uh, your brain is made up of folds. It's not a plain thing. It is made up of folds. So your IQ level is somewhat closely related to the number of folds your brain has. And this cannot be altered. Right. Logically. Right.